Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode in our equipment system series in UE4. In the last episode we got our character sheet to show off what items we have equipped in our slot inventory. We can't equip it yet, um, we'll do that in the next episode. But for this episode what I want to do is make it so you colour the borders of this item uh, based on its rarity. So it's common, uncommon, rare and epic. Okay, So that's what we're looking at today. And to get started off with this, I have made a new folder inside my user interface folder called UI Textures. And in here, I've already made and imported this border texture. It's a very simple border texture. Uh, you can make yours however you like. Uh, but to do a border correctly, you have to imagine it. We call it a nine slice. So basically, if you divide this thing by three, okay, so you've got like, like a nooks and crosses grid. And those in the corner, it won't stretch at all. And those on the sides and the tops and bottoms, it will stretch. Okay, so you need to make the, t uh, the tops and the s um, bottom sides uh, uh, tile. Okay, but for this, I've just made this very simple, basic texture. Um, and for this, it has to be white because we make this change and tint it a different color based on the rarity. So just make one that is white and import it in. Um, so once we, whilst we're there, we should also change our texture group on the right hand side, where it says world. We're going to change it down to UI. And that will save any problems that we have when we start using it for our user interface. So any texture that's going to be used for the UI, change it to the UI texture group here. So I'm going to close that now. And I've already opened it, but you want to open up your slot inventory content. So this is where the name of your item piece that we've done previously where it uh, is. And at that moment, all we've got in here is just a text block and one variable with the armor piece. Uh, with a function that determines what that turns into. It's bound to, yeah, you go, armor piece dot name. Okay. So we're going to add a border element to this. Okay. So right click on your text field on your hierarchy and go wrap with border. Now, border will come up like so. What I want to do is, right now, doesn't matter. We can leave it as this, but to save a bit of hassling and where it look and make it easier for us to work with because it can be overwritten anyway in game is I'm going to change it from a draw as to a uh, border okay but that doesn't matter because it's going to be overwritten uh, with our own stuff in a minute so the way this works so the way this works is we have a brush here uh, which contains all the appearance data and we can bind this to a certain value and that certain value we're going to make our own brush appearance to attach to uh, this border so we're going to need to make the border appearance for all of these um, uh, brushes so in my content browser here I'm just going to right click here go to user interface slate brush and I'm going to do a common border and open it up I'm going to set the border texture as the image uh, image size is 64 by 64 because that's the image size of my texture here and because you're drawing it in thirds what you want to do is change it i'll oh, say draw as to border first change its margins all here to 0.33 so all of them need to be 0.33 and that'll do a, a perfect nine slice where they divide it equally by threes okay and that should work okay and the tint here we're going to make that sort of a green like so click save and you can close it so there's our common green border now I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to call it uncommon border is it common green no on Un uh, epics purple blues rare so Uncommon is green, uh, common is white, so we'll leave that as white. Okay. Um, uncommon is green, so we'll leave that as green. And then we'll right click on this again, duplicate. It's going to be rare border. And I'll make this a blue. And again, duplicate that one last time for epic. Border. And this one's going to be purple. Okay. 
So there's the different colors for our rarities. So now what we need to do is go into our slot inventory content. And our border here, we're going to bind this to a variable. So go to your graph editor of your widget here. And I'm going to delete this for now. I'm going to make a new variable here uh, called rarity. Okay. Rarity. And this is going to be the variable type of our uh, rarity enumerator. Meaning that I can now choose which one of these it's going to be. Common, uncommon, rare, epic. But we're going to bind that variable in a minute to the data that we assigned to this. So this armor data here contains the rarity here. So actually we don't need the rarity. Uh, yeah, we can get rid of the rarity. It'll be fine. So what we need to do is bind uh, this brush here to an event. So to make that easy for yourself, if you go into the brush in the appearance and click bind, and click create binding we get the get background zero function and in here um, I'm going to go get the output here of a slate brush structure and the slate brush we're going to set we're going to define in a variable here so the variables I'm going to click on the plus variable and go uncommon uh, so common first common slate and this is going to be of the slate brush, uh, slate brush asset. And I'm going to duplicate that again. Uncommon slate. And with common uh, and duplicate again. Sorry, get ahead of myself. Rare slate. And duplicate again for the epic slate. And for each one of these, we want to set. Compile it first, set the slate here for common slate to be your common border. Uncommon, uncommon, rare to rare, and epic to epic. And click compile. So we've got four slate, uh, four slate brushes ready to be used. And we have to tell us to decide which one it's going to use. For example, you could just drag this out here and uh, you can make this a brush asset going to there but we don't want to do that because we need to make it change based on uh, which uh, which one our armor piece actually belongs to so for that we're going to do a switch so drag your armor piece variable out and choose get and I'm going to split this open and from where it says rarity I'm going to drag this out and do switch and you'll see switch on rarity and a switch once we hook it up Basically, we'll take one of these in, and you can see if it's common, it'll go down this route. Uncommon, it'll go down this route. Rare, this route. And epic, this route. And I'm going to have four return nodes. One for each uh, rarity. And for each one, common is going to go into the top one. Uncommon there. Rare into there. Epic into there. And for each one, I'm going to drag in the appropriate variable here. So common goes into the top one. And I'm going to type in make brush from asset. And plug that in like so. And I'll do that again for each one. So copy and paste that another three times. So epic goes into the bottom one. Uh, rare into the third one and finally that one into there so it's a bit messy but it does the job so now this will only show the border that this one belongs to click compile and we can go back to our designer I just want to make sure before we carry on that the brush here is set to that get background zero function you can rename it if you like but for now we'll leave it as is so now, if everything's set up, it should work. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't. Click C, and there you go. Our epic breastplate of the dragon appears with its epic purple border. So it's not entirely perfect because you see the text is overlapping the border. So for that, we just need to put in a um, padding on our text block. So go into text block, and here I'm going to put some padding here for, uh, for this padding. 
Uh, yep. Here I'm going to type in uh, 10. Let's see what it looks like desired. So that's the border and there's the text. So let's have a look at that in game. Okay, so the text is fitting a little bit better. Um, it's not wrapping correctly on the end here, but we'll fix that in the bug fixing episode. Um, and you can see sometimes the border doesn't line up perfectly well. Uh, Unreal is a bit funny when it comes to borders. Um, so to fix something like that, uh, we just need to tweak the uh, whole margin here a little bit. Um, so we'll tweak that uh, until you get the appropriate size. So this one will probably need to go down a little bit. Let's try 0.3. And getting there, so I need to keep doing that until I get it perfect the way I like it. Okay, um, and that'll be uh, it. That's how you do rarity borders. Okay, so a few bugs to fix, but we'll fix those in that bug fixing episode at the end of this series. Uh, but for now, uh, you can by the way, by means just play around to fix those bugs. I need to sit down and think about a good method to fix them uh, so they work every single time. But until then, um, check out the next episode. Uh, right now, on the next episode, we're going to um, start making it so the player here can equip those items and then start reading the data from those items so we can increase and decrease their stats. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want to watch the episodes right now, uh, you can go onto Patreon and donate just a dollar and you can access that video right now, as well as many other videos too. And uh, join our Discord. Thank you very much to everyone who has donated so far. These wonderful people have been helping me out massively for this channel. And um, yeah, I look forward to catching up next time. See you guys.